Hey again, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to answer a really commonly asked question, which is how do I get rid of double cut lines? Um, so this is a super easy thing to do in Illustrator. I'm not going to show you how to do it in any other design program because I don't have them. Um, but if you're using Illustrator, this is a very easy accomplished task. Um, so the problem usually with, um, like, let's say you put your file through the printer and it's got, it cuts it out twice on the same spot, but because our cutters aren't perfect, you'll be able to see that it cut it twice because it'll leave little slivers of vinyl behind. So to fix that, you're going to open your file in Illustrator. And I've just created this um, funky star shape to go off of. So you can see that we've got a quarter inch of bleed on this black sort of star shape. And then we have our cut line. Now, when I select the cut line, I can see that there's that cut line there. And it looks to me, even if I zoom all the way in, that there's only one cut line. And that often is the complaint from the people who are um, asking about this question, that they can see the cut line and there's only one. But really, um, and I should also show you this in outline mode, which is command Y or control Y if you're on a PC. If you look at it in outline mode, it still looks like there's only one cut line. Now, number one, the fact that this black line is darker than this black line is a dead giveaway for me, but that's because I see this sort of stuff all the time. Um, so basically what you're going to do is just select your, uh, your cut line and then drag it. And then voila, you can see there's a second cut line there. Um, and often I will do this in outline mode and I will show you why. So I just sent that one that I had selected, I sent it to the very back layer, which you can see in your layers panel right here. So you can see I have one cut line that I just sent to the very back. And then I've got my star and I've got my um, bleed, which I don't actually need both of those, but whatever. And then I've got my top layer, which is this cut line right here. And you can see when I select it, it puts a blue, a blue mark next to it. So if I select that, and this is usually what's happening with your guys' files, um, select your cut line and move it, and you're like, but I don't see any other, there's no more cut line there. So I will go into outline mode, and then I can see there it is. And I'm, right now I have my black star selected, so I can delete that out, which leaves just my, my other cut line left. And you can see how it's there, but you can't see it. So you just have to kind of use your layers panel and you, it gives you a little preview of, of what's in there. So if you see something that looks like it's a magenta outline or whatever color you have selected for your cut line, um, then you, it's very obvious that there are two cut lines in here. Um, and you can also find this layers panel by going to window and then layers. Um, so now just another quick way of selecting that cut line is just to click here. So if you, if you have very complicated artwork and it's not as easy to just go into outline mode and select that because you have other stuff going on, you can just select it right in the layers path. And that's true of any one of your layers. And then also within your layers path, um, your layers tool are these tools. So you can click this and that will lock a layer. So now if I select everything, it'll select everything except for your locked layer. So now I'm going to unlock it and show you again. Now it selects it. Um, and then you can toggle the views. So um, let's say I don't want to see my cut line right now. So I'm just going to turn the eyeball off and then that disappears. That doesn't mean it's gotten rid of my cut line. It just means it's not showing it to me right now. And then when I put it back on, there it is. 
so that's how um, that's a very basic way of dealing with your double cut line issue so I'm just gonna go in right now and delete that by hitting the delete key and problem solved thanks so much for listening hit the um, subscribe and the like button and send us a comment if you found this helpful talk later bye bye